Heavenly decided to apologize to Contessa and those she offended, and I'm impressed. This is the way you step back a couple of steps or more from the cliff. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today I will be talking about Married to Medicine, Season 9, Episode 7. And before I get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Please send me your comments. The ladies, of course, are still in Vegas. Um, from last week's episode, they went zip lining, so this is the continuation of that very same thing. So they're at the, the hotel and they're getting ready to go out to dinner. As usual, the ladies' fashions are not on point, so there's not a whole lot to speak about. I'm not sure what Toya was wearing. If she was wearing undergarments, maybe a girdle, booty short. I'm not sure. So Toya gonna wear what Toya gonna wear, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. They went to this beautiful restaurant. The chef comes through and leads them to the dining room where they will be sitting. It really looks like a good time can be had by all. Contessa decided to apologize for her part in that unseemly argument they had on the deck of the restaurant when they went to brunch. Heavenly did not say anything and that's to be expected. While they were sitting at the table, Simone said that she is still doing some research for the book that she and Cecil are writing and she needed some input from the woman. Carrie was the first one who pulled a question and it asked quickies or marathon. Kua took the time to tell us that she likes having a little bit of pressure on her neck while she is having a sexual experience. And okay, thank you for sharing, but that's your deal. Suppose you're with someone who, when they get locked up, they, they can't release that strangle hole on your neck then we have some problems then we on breaking news so that's all i'm gonna say about that anyway they continued going around the table uh, there was a question whether the husband will feel good if the wife made more money than he did and heavenly made a stab at toya telling her that she would not have married a man who did not have money. Sure, money is not bad and it's good to have it, but it's also important, I believe, that a woman should make her own money as well. Makes sense to me. Someone asked, the qu there was a question, what are the signs of a dysfunctional marriage? And of course, Contessa responded to that question she said dysfunction is an individual thing something could be dysfunctional in one marriage but not in the other and it's important that you not let your friends intrude on what you have going on at the house and i could co-sign that because when before i got married we had counseling and i think one of the first things the therapist said is that you don't allow outside forces into your marriage regardless if it's your your parents if it's a child if it's other people you just don't let that in your marriage is sacred and it should be protected by all parties it doesn't help that you take what's going on inside your marriage and tell others about it unless that person that you're telling is trustworthy and that person has shown you that they are someone that you can rely on someone who is a friend who can check you when you're in the midst of foolishness so you could get back to a healthy relationship and healthy thinking the best form of action in my mind is your business is your business and you should keep it on lock at all times and if you feel the need to share it 
if you want a second opinion you got to go to someone who you trust absolutely and all marriages go through ups and downs one way or the other and i think the the input the conversation of other people certainly didn't help in that period of time when Contessa and her husband were having a lot of upsets one behind the other and she chose to go outside of the marriage and talk about it with people who were not trustworthy. The ladies were drinking and eating and it, everyone seemed to be having a good time and in lieu of dessert the, ch the chef brought out a plate full of low stacks of money that um, Simone gave to everyone because the next stop was the strip club. So on their way to the strip club, people are, people are talking particularly about Toya when she talked about um, one thing she did not know about her husband is that his penis will stay the same size. I got to throw the flag on Toya because Eugene has been through a lot the last two years with the pandemic and being a healthcare provider and clearly from the upset he had with with Anella and Karan, she should know that Eugene needs more of uplifting than pulling down and it's a pity that she chose that moment to talk about him in not a pleasant way. She talked about her relationship with her shower and perhaps she could introduce Eugene to all the splendor she has been receiving. Include your beloved in whatever activity that brings you so much joy. Because, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But introduce them, bring them in. Let both of you be happy together. Try it. Who knows what will happen. So they get to the strip club. They're sitting there enjoying themselves. The host comes out, cracks a, a couple of jokes. And um, the entertainment begins. It's a strip club. You know what happens to a strip in a strip club. And there was another group that came out and they pulled Heavenly on the stage. And these six guys uh, circled around Heavenly and started to, you know, give her a lap dance. And all of a sudden we see her with a belt or a whip. And she's using the whip with some level of proficiency. So I, I would imagine she's been there before so the ladies had fun everyone went back to the hotel the following day there was breakfast so heavenly invited the, these group of nurses to bring IVs because I taking an IV helps you with a hangover and the ladies were clearly drinking last night, the, the night before. The ladies now were sitting at bre the breakfast table. We heavenly asked Simone for a copy of the tape because Simone taped heavenly while these group of strippers were around her and she was slapping people's asses right and left. And Simone told her that she would edit it and invite her over to get a copy. And um, basically that's how stuff should be handled rather than putting people's business out on the street. And Quad started talking to Heavenly and Heavenly broke open and she apologized to Contessa for using her the information she knew about her marriage on her YouTube channel and Contessa said um, she appreciated that and Contessa apologized to her for the failed intervention and they hugged up on each other and cried a little bit. She should not make jokes at the expense of her friends. She was raised hard and part of a coping mechanism was to hit first before anyone could hit her 
and she has taken that into adulthood and she needs to work on that and deal with that. And Quad was able to tell her that everyone at the table loved her so she doesn't have to fight anymore. She made a whole lot of trust with these women and I don't see that happening anytime soon. When when they asked Toya whether she accepted Heavenly's apology, she said uh, she's more about the doing rather than the talking. So we understand what she's saying. She's looking for the next time Heavenly messes up. But for right now, and we're going to stay in the now, Heavenly seemed like she was really sorry for what had occurred between her and Contessa and wanted to make amends for it. So I appreciate that. I congratulate her for that. I congratulate her being vulnerable and open at that time. And um, this apology sounded sincere. So I hope the ladies at this time could move on to something else until the next time. Because, you know, right behavior is not like a one-time thing. It's something that you have to practice doing over and over and over. And then it gets, you start, your behavior starts decreasing. And that's usually how it happens. But it's good to see the manifestation of good coming out of heavenly rather than the negative stuff that she usually speaks. So that's all I have about that. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It's a beautiful day today. I hope you're having a lovely time. And I'll see you next week with the next episode. God bless. You are blessed. And you are a blessing. Have a good one. Bye-bye.